Today we're checking out Sons of Valhalla. I'm a professional internet person. This is a very beautiful 2D side-scrolling combat management base builder. Very, very similar to Kingdom or Kingdom New Lands or Kingdom New Two Crowns. Uh, really amazing assets and atmosphere in this game. I think it speaks for itself more just here at the main menu. Uh, we will get into it. I'm going to skip over all of the early story and just tell you my impressions, but I will explain the story shorthand. This is a very difficult game, so we're just going to be playing on the normal difficulty as well. And I'm just going to skip it, although there is amazing voice acting and great pixel art to be had here. Um, okay, so basically the story is this, because the game seems kind of concerned with its own story, and it is cool, because we're Vikings. We're playing as a, a Viking protagonist named Thorold, and basically he is trying to get back his woman and avenge his clan, but he dies at sea in a shipwreck. And he goes up to Valhalla to Odin and his dogs, who need to be booped on the snoot, which we can boop them on the snoot right here. Uh, boop. This one enjoys the booping, and the other one doesn't enjoy the booping as much, but just look at the incredible art in this game, and we can see the city in the sky, amazing. Is it even, no, I thought it was like hovering there, but just look at the layers of pixel art. It's really pretty, this game. Um, but anyway, we're going back down to earth because basically Odin has told us that he will allow us to keep coming back to life as many times as we have runes and we're just going to dive out of the sky right here. Um, but that's pretty much all the story that you need to know. Very beautiful game. And you can clearly see the influence from Kingdom here. Um, however, that being said, it's it's more like Viking-y themed, but I also never played that. Your units will be able to dodge enemies more easily. Dodge chance plus 10, that is quite good because they're going to need that because I'm going to put them in some really rough situations. Um, honestly, I consider this game like one of those games that you would have as an experience and then probably leave behind you for a while. Like, I kind of see this as a great game that I would have an amazing time playing on a laptop, on an airplane or something like that, and then I'd probably put it down for a while. Um, but it would be an amazing experience nonetheless. Um, however, that being said, we're playing the demo, so I don't really know how much more content there is in the game. I'm going to put down a barracks here because we need to play aggressively, apparently, and I'm going to command all my men to follow me in my extremely manly, gruff voice. And then I'm going to train a lot of men whose lives I'm going to throw away. Um, let's see, we have, we're at seven, and we'll, yeah, we'll bring it up to a full ten men. We're just going to stop there because we have to attack, uh, an outpost and then hold it, which is going to be rather difficult for us. After that, we're going to try to upgrade our mead hall and then get more people. I just want to make sure we're ready for this first assault. So it's a little bit like, I suppose, Star Wars Battlefront or something like that, except that it's 2D, because we're trying to go out here and capture all of the command posts as far as we go. Okay, here we've got another guy, an archer. We can command him into our um, our little army over here, and we will command this guy to follow us too. And then do we have one more? We have one more guy coming out. Oh, actually, we have two more. Hoo-ha, there they go. And then tell everyone to attack this guy. The whole point of this game is a little bit like one-dimensional and linear, I find. That is just sort of like building up men to fight an enemy. I do feel like I want a little bit more in terms of commands, of just telling people far away to come to me. But I mean, for a 2D side-scroller, which this really isn't a genre that we frequent a lot, there's quite a lot going on here, and I just think it's very cool. If you're looking for something that could game really well on a laptop or something like that. Um, kind of like Neo Scavenger in that way, albeit with more action and so on going on. But yeah, I mean, those don't, I don't want to say that in like a derogatory way. Some of those are my favorite, most memorable gaming experiences as well. Because sometimes portability matters on a PC. Um, but yes, this game is very difficult, which is why I'm taking a lot of time to prepare here at the beginning. So we've got a bunch of archers and other militiamen. And I don't really want to spend down all of my gold here at the beginning, or rather my silver, because I want to upgrade our mead hall. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and do some plundering. Attack. Attack this man. King of the castle, king of the castle. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we got another... Uh, hang on, please come back. Please come back. Units arrows will do more damage. That's great. Okay, we, we definitely are going to need that. Because they don't do enough damage to start with. Okay, now that being said, let's go ahead and try not to get everyone killed, because they will start to launch attacks on us as we go. Okay, everyone, go get yourselves killed now, because, uh, there is... we have nothing. We have nothing. Okay, so now there is a fairly decent combat system 
considering the fact that this is a 2D side scroller, and look at how amazing these arrows are. Okay, I am out of. I was gonna say money. I'm out of arrows. There we go. I'm out of money too. Well, we are out of money, but here we are. Okay, good. We actually did manage to attack their, or rather, breach their outpost this time, which we did not a minute ago when we tried this. Um, oh, we don't actually have to do this, but we have to stand beneath the command post area. Can we decapture this? No, apparently we have to get the guy out of the building there. Oh, and we found another rune. Units gain more stamina. Um, now we can hold only a certain number of these things. This is odd that we didn't unlock multiple trees here. Oh, here we go. We did. We totally did. I take it back. Um, hmm. Okay, so these are upgrades for my men. I can get runes throughout the game that help me upgrade my own powers and my men's powers. Um, apparently, we're trying to destroy this watchtower. Or rather, the man beside the watchtower. But as soon as we get that, we get access to the trader post. And we can go back to our main base and open up more fishing huts and then get more gold. I am in kind of a rush here. Because this game does get very difficult. Can I use my sh I can use my shield. I can dodge and everything. Uh, however, I've just been playing very aggressively because I want to make sure I get in all these double attacks, which are super overpowered here. Um, good. So we've captured the command post now. I and mean, then we want to garrison some archers into this tower. So there we go. We got a lot of stuff just well for done. having that. You've taken off. Here we go. This hermit man is helping us out. Uh, we will repair the watchtower and then we will unlock it. So now we are garrisoning this tower. So this is kind of the whole point of the game, is to expand your territory. Please come back, though. Man, sometimes the AI just makes these really awful decisions, and I do question them. Here we go. Arrows will be able to do more critical damage, so I will take that, but that's only for me personally. Please don't throw away your own life. You had so much to live for, and, man, we're getting so many runes. Um, range fighters will have more accuracy. Uh, okay, that's pretty good, too. Oh, we've already got Enhanced Invasion. Let's just leave this one here, although we may be able to convert it or sell it in some way. Um, come back. King of the castle. King of the castle. Okay, there we are. Uh, why do you retreat forward, sir? Okay. Not the brightest bulb in the bunch, but we will leave him. And our other men, we will tell to just follow me. Or they insist on fighting the enemies because they're close. So, like I said, you know, we are kind of on the demo here, but it would be nice to see, like, a little bit more enhanced control over my men. Because I feel like when you're in this kind of one-dimensional combat area, I, w I would kind of like to see more of that. Or I would be interested in seeing more of that um, in the release. But here we go. We have plundered immensely. And when they're doing what they're supposed to, which, I mean, you know, maybe we can't really judge them so harshly because two of them have spears sticking out of their head. Uh... <laughs> Like, maybe they just lost a few brain cells in that fight. Then they they generally do... They do a little bit better. Maybe, or maybe en masse. We are going to go ahead and upgrade our base, because there is a whole base building aspect to this game. Not only did we have our original barracks, but let's go ahead over here, and I just want to make sure that I'm putting all of my resource management stuff in the background. So we're going to want a woodcutter hut and a fishing hut. Let's put the fishing hut back here, and we are going to have to put one more woodcutter hut in kind of a regrettable location up here. But as you can see, Thorold runs out of energy pretty easily, so it's hard to get around. And you find yourself doing this like kind of economic combat management throughout the game, where you're like, you're trying to manage the front lines because people are attacking that outpost over there, but I wanna make sure that all my men are trained and following me and fighting. So it is like kind of a big multitasker, and I find this game to be a very good time waster. Um, which is why I kind of say that it's like, like it does all of the things mentally for me that need to be done for me to enjoy a video game. But at the same time, I'm also like, ah, uh, like I feel like I would enjoy this for like one really good sit down. And then I'm kind of curious as to what other content they will add in the main thing um, or what else will be in beyond the uh, demo. Um, but anyway, that being said, uh, since we've had such amazing luck with these swordsmen already, should we just train more swordsmen and throw them at the problem horribly? Because it's going to be quite a while before we can unlock more buildings. And we are making a lot of fish right now. Um, hmm. Okay, so we will upgrade our fishermen's huts. Actually, actually, we will upgrade our fishermen's huts. And then we'll probably do some trading in a moment. 
woodcutter huts. We do. We will need the woodcutter huts too. Okay, strong boy. Work harder. Um, I am a little bit nervous because we were supposed to get archers before this, but I want to expand my base. And as you can see, the outpost here is not doing too particularly well. <laughs> and are they attacking yet? No, we have literally only one archer here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Where are my men? Come back, men! Come back. <laughs> uh, hold this position because we want to make sure that we... There's an enemy nearby. Okay, so we have to do it like this. And we just shoot him in the face. There we go. He's just taking it like a man. There we go. Allows you to carry more javelins with you, but we don't really have access to javelins right now, so there we are. Okay, we will rebuild the gate slightly, although we we don't want to put all of our resources toward just rebuilding stuff. So you guys stay there. You defend this area because there will be more enemies coming, and I'm going to go back home where it's safe. Now, as you can see, at the farm we can trade food, which is great because... There we go. So we're trading our food... Hang on a second. Oh, sell. Here we go. I was left-clicking instead of right-clicking. So we can trade our food for more um, silver, which silver is really the primary commodity here. We want to make sure that we have a lot of it. And then we'll go back to our main hut. Let's just ignore this burning tower. And then I'm totally out of breath again when once I'm home. And the lumberjack boy has made more wood, so now we can upgrade this thing. So now we can make even more wood. Oh, I'm tired again. Yeah, we need to expand the wood capacity too. Well, all of it, uh, mainly the um, mainly the fish capacity here. We'll do a little bit of that, and then we'll upgrade that. Okay, so we're still at 450 fish. We're maxed out at fish, but let's go ahead and upgrade both of those storages. Now, the reason I'm doing that, like I said, is because I can trade fish for silver. I had tried this with wood before, but it was simply not as effective. Let's also upgrade the efficiency, too, because we can have these things upgrade simultaneously. We want to be as efficient as possible, you know what I mean? Like I said, this is a game that pretty much keeps my entire mind engaged. Like, it's a very challenging game. Um, it's just more of those, like, kind of multifaceted combat orders that I would like to see. We will also... Let's upgrade the wood capacity slightly and the wood output, because we will be mired in wealth before we know it. Especially with all of these fish. Now I need to go over to the front village and trade the fish. Man, I'm a tired boy. I am a tired boy. Well, we can drink mead, which I really don't think that drinking this much mead would make you, like, coherent anymore. I kind of question this about all the Viking lore. But here we go. Oh, and all of my men have died. So this is the reason why I was not too particularly happy with, uh... As you can see with melee fighters as my primary unit. And I preferred archers greatly. But also, look at how quickly I run out of HP. Um, like, you need to be really careful, because otherwise you'll get sent back to Valhalla. And and nobody wants to get sent back to Valhalla, because then Odin is just sort of like, Hey, give me more money, man. And then, like, you kind of have to, because he's Odin. <laughs> So you're kind of in a you're in a rut between a rock and a hard place, so to speak. Um, we could upgrade this, but look at how expensive it is to rebuild the gate. So let's just go home, get more meat, eat, and then go about it that way. Shield dudes would probably survive longer. That you would think that the shield dudes would survive longer, or that there would be like a little bit more rock paper um rock paper scissors with a shotgun. I personally have not really experienced it, so I've just sort of. I've been of the mindset, just throw archers at the problem. Um, though TBD, I don't know, like, I feel as though I have a very... Man, we really have improved this fish industry. Okay, I think that we're playing the game right. Because we clearly were not before, like, about an hour ago when we were playing. <laughs> it, it was not going too particularly well for us. Now, the thing is, I'm just going to cover up this problem with more band-aids for a while, because, um... In these types of games, like, focusing on defense and consolidation is somewhat useless. And we kind of want to put all of our chips on one thing. You know what I mean? There we go. Let's make fish even more frequently. Fish, 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 fish. I'm a fish boy. Like, if we just focus entirely on attacking the enemy and not turtling, although I agree with you, I like the feeling of turtling in these types of games because I'm like, I am secure in my base and no one can touch me. But at the same time, I do want to win. <laughs> like, I would be I would be remiss if I didn't win. Not the right choice of words, but you know what I mean. Um, 
Here we are. Okay, so okay, can we upgrade the mean halt? The meat halt? No, we're we're going to need a lot more wood for that. So let's up our wood capacity too, as well as our wood production speed. And we're just kind of going back and forth, throwing more men's lives at the problem, which we are really <laughs> failing to solve the problem in the first place. But look, it's okay because we're making more fish. Okay, so these men should come out of the barracks. And we'll also improve their attack speed by a little bit. Or maybe their armor. Well, that also takes us away further and further from our uh, goal of... Follow me. You know, oh no, the enemy is actually attacking the town. And they've gotten up to the tower now as well. Uh, and I have only one man behind me. But yes, this is what I mean when I say that right now at least the demo feels very much like one-dimensional. And there's really one thing going on. But I'm... Yeah, like that guy is still in the burning tower. Hang on a second. I am dying. Okay, hang on a second. As long as I eat just more meat... Okay, I'm just going to leave you to die, or you can come with me if you're in my command range. Here we go. The enemy is quite good, too. They have, like, decent AI. Although, my it never seems to work with my men. Like, my men are just really outstandingly stupid, and then I hide behind them and use them as a shield wall. Although, maybe that's because they aren't upgraded, and they could be, like, five-head chads when they get smart enough. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Making liberal use of the dodge here. Oh, man. I used a power attack, though. How did you even do that? Okay, we're going home. We're going home because I've created more men there out of my womb-like shelter. Okay, I'm finally safe again. Thank God I can throw other people's lives at this problem. I really don't want to die and have to go back up to Odin. Only because Odin gets very, like, upset with me. He's like, mm, you couldn't survive. You must not be very strong. And I never feel good when we see Odin. I don't like him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that I said that, though. Am I saying it right? Is it Odin? Odin? I'm not really that much into the Norse mythology. I don't. I really don't know much about it. All that I know is like Thursday is actually Thor's day, and that's where the name of the day of the week comes from. That you've you've probably heard of Thursday before. It's uh, it's a very popular day. A lot of people like Thursday. Yeah, not, it's not classical literature. I, I'm well versed in, in much of classical literature, but not... Look, this guy is still holding out in the tower. <laughs> it's crazy. But here we go, yeah. So I will just use you all, and then you all get wrapped up in combat and just get yourselves killed. Come on. Be as smart as the enemies, please. There we are. Good. Although I can't, like... I, can't, I have a hard time... The city gates will receive more hit points. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. The gates are stronger. Uh, we will rebuild this gate because assuming that we can get more archers in time, it'll be good. I guess the main thing that I, I'm kind of curious about here is it really just seems like a difficulty balance thing. Where I, Okay, here we go. We need to clearly repair this watchtower. <laughs> there we go. It's not on fire anymore. We just got the fire department there. Okay, you people with the arrows in your face, you just stand there. Wait a minute. Uh, I could send you there. Follow me. I'm pretty sure since they're all swordsmen, they're just going to stand there. So yeah, we will just tell you to hold your position there. There we go. All right, and now we will use our copious number of fish to just trade it all for money again. Because clearly to get to the next stage of the game, we're going to need fewer fish and a lot more wood and stuff. Also, this is kind of bothering me here, but we'll just leave it because it's kind of funny to have a burning tower just sitting there and not spreading the fire. Okay, we still don't have enough money for anything. Um, but our limiting factor here does appear to... It's starting to become the wood, which is a good thing. So we'll go... At, that means that we're doing it right. Um, yeah, because we are regenerating fish at a, at a breathtaking rate. I, excuse me. I suppose the one thing that I'm kind of looking for is a little bit more... Um, like, it feels like you get stuck at some bottlenecks in this game. And I would be kind of curious to see how they handle that. I feel like it's something that could be very easily tweaked just to keep me engaged in these parts. Because, like I said, it's it's a very engaging game. And I, I find that it's working a lot of things in my head, like, economically and even, like, tactically with my fingers and so on, and so to speak. Which you probably can see by the combat system. Which is a good combat system, don't get me wrong. Um, however, that being said, it's just not very profitable to pay a lot of men and then plunder and 
it's kind of like a negative resource game to go attack the enemy. So I'm kind of curious how they'll handle that. I'm going to keep investing in the wood production, but not the wood storage because we need, what is it, 475 wood in order to upgrade the mead hall, which is really our next big step. Yeah. I mean, again, it's not really me. Like, I can only do so much damage. It's mostly me just kind of throwing my men at this problem, and I'm using that place as a glorified trading post. Um, okay, here we go. We can make our fishermen's huts more efficient as well, just because we're going to need more of those to get more money. We'll just keep doing more of everything. But like I said, um... Hmm. 25 to 30%. Would this be any good, really? I have told them to hold position. They really just aren't very good at... Well, they don't have any shields, that's probably why. But I don't have enough money to save their lives, so we'll just leave them as they are. Um, now we need 175 fish. Okay, let's just do even more fish. Fish, fish, fish. 10.5 to 10 seconds. Good, 10. Okay, here we go. So, be slightly more efficient. And we can, as you know, fish can be transmitted through the air instantaneously. So we can, um, train more men over, or we can, like, sell more fish from over here when we get over there to the trading post. But that being said, actually, our men have held up longer than I expected. And there goes the last one. There goes the very last man. Why are you just sitting in the tower and doing nothing, though? Like, you don't get paid enough? That is actually quite questionable. Come down and die. What kind of archer does that, though? Like, ah, uh, like, yeah, I can't help it but question the AI a little bit here. Like, what kind of archer doesn't use the tower that he's garrisoned in and then charges out of the gate at the enemy? <laughs> All right, so, like, a, le a legitimate thing to question about the AI. Like, why is that happening there? <laughs> um, okay, and then you hold position. Let's see what you do there. Like, there's a lot to like here, and I really, I really do hope that some of these things get cleared up, because I don't feel like that I'm, I, I mean, that being said, like, I am fairly uncoordinated, <laughs> because I spend most of my time playing colony managers, but there's a lot that I really want to like here, and I'm like, ah, just slight tweaking of this AI, and this could be so interesting. So, I don't know, I, I, I definitely feel like that deserved a highlighting, but let's just give this our best shot, because I, I do want to see if, even with, like, all of these very meme <laughs> uncoordinated soldiers if I can make something good happen here. Oh, and we're already at 475 wood, which goes to show that, you know, when you look away and you do the combat, like, stuff pans out quite nicely for you. And I just realized that I've had notifications off for the last five minutes. I apologize for that. Who has subbed and I have not noticed? Oh, we actually did get a bit donation. Quietest girl, thank you very much for the uh, 100 bits and the very nice message. I'm sorry about that. I neglected to see that as I was doing my professional streamer intro. Phew! Can we upgrade the meat hall yet? No, we cannot yet, as of yet, as of yet. Um, okay, then let's upgrade our storage by a bit here. And then probably on the next trip, let's upgrade our uh, building upgrade required, okay. There's not really fish storage limits that we're hitting here, though. What's the word, my friend? Hey, Ghoul, what's up, brother? Uh, streamer friend Ghoul King in the chat, everybody. Everybody say hi to Ghoul King and make him feel singled out and different. Because he is different. He he wasn't... He wasn't... He wasn't there for when we were talking about him before. No, I don't know what I'm saying here. How are you, Ghoul? I'm just being a weirdo. Yes, good. Single out ghoul and make him feel different. Have you tried this one? Oh, God. Okay, they are here to pillage and take our land, and we have no one to defend uh, it with. Okay, but let's do what we were supposed to do with this, which is we're just going to sell a lot of fish to hopefully just barely have enough money to get our main base upgraded, and then we'll come back and recapture this place valiantly. Um, that should be good because now we're over 3,000. Well, let's take a little bit extra too. And I'm basically just going to give up this first outpost. There seems to be a good amount of back and forth in this game because as you can see, and I do like this, the fact that the enemy has such a, like a vast display of force. Um, Raffle animated frog emotes FTW. I forgot that that emoji had such a long name. My name is Lunk. Thank you very much for the three months. 
but it is good at times to remind ourselves of how long I and unique as strings of characters I kept the AA emoji. Okay, so here we go. Now we have, oh my gosh, this is actually rather visually impressive. Okay, so now we have a massive Viking hall, and I'm pretty sure that these are all the resources under our command. So now, yes, we can finally get the archery range of which I dreamed, and we have multiple archers. They are much smarter when grouped en masse than they are. To upgrade your building. Okay, thank you very much. That'll be all. That'll be all. All right, a moment. Um, the, the question is, should I have two woodcutter's huts? I think yes, because you can never have enough resources, but we might have to debuild one of those later. Okay, there we go. Because debuild is a word. Oh, he's got another five gi uh, gift subs from, hey, I'll review every, hey, streamer friend, I'll review, well, really more YouTuber friend. I'll review anything. How are you doing? Thank you very, very much for the gift subs. You don't have to do that for me, but thank you, man. You are, you are a gentleman and a scholar. All right, so the good news is this. Now that we've finished our horrible procrastination, uh, the enemy's actually taken over the, the fort that we were aiming to get. But that's okay, because I kind of planned it this way. Let's go ahead and tell our men to hold this position. And now this guy, any archers that we get are going to go up into the fort and be very important in there. Now, we're going to put all of our money toward upgrading our archers, because I've been trying to do this for so long. But here they go, garrisoning the tower. King of the castle, king of the castle. Um, and we will... Hmm, what should we do next? We aren't hitting our resource cap, so our economy is doing just fine. We can fight a defensive war more easily because they will come and try to attack our main base. And I do like the feeling of being under assault. Like, it feels so... It feels so right. You know? Like it's a metaphor or an allegory or something. But how far are we from the biggest, biggest building? Because we do need to upgrade more of these things. Oh no, this is actually the maximum level, in which case we're going to need to debuild quite a lot of stuff. Um, I know that's not a word, but I'm just going to keep saying it. Because it just feels right. Oh, before we do anything else, let's just get up to the max number of archers. And then we will get... Let's start raising their attack speed, because I feel like this could be quite OP, getting 145% attack speed, assuming that's the ceiling. Um, and also upping their range, because we want to keep them very, very far away from everyone else, because we know what happens when the archers get too close, which, as we know, they are quite fond of coming close to our enemies. There we are. Okay, good. You're making wood. Wood boy. Good job, wood boy. Maybe we should train some more soldiers. No, let's not do that. Let's just go to the barracks. Oh, and we are also getting a raid from Vormithrax. A raid from the Vord. Hang on a second. I do wish to give Vorm like a very quick shout out. Guys, Vorm is, is actually like such a smooth boy. There we are. Well, not, I don't mean that in a, like a derogatory way. Nor have I ever actually felt Vorm. So, like... um. Where are we going with this? Yeah, but like, m metaphorically, you know what I mean? Well, that made it sound weird, but... Why do I keep saying you know what I mean at the end of every statement? Okay, let's garrison, re-garrison this. King of the castle, king of the castle. Uh, apparently they're not getting into it, unless if I give them the order. Yes, here we go. We are under assault from the enemy. Kind of cool, though, to see the enemy AI coming at us like that. So now, any of the new people who are built, because people are built, obviously, out of wood and fish... Um, are going to garrison that tower, so we have sort of a defense, and now we have all of these guys here to attack with us. Oh, okay, uh, who is going to kill you all? <laughs> I, uh, I do worry about my men a lot in this. Oh my god, there's a whole swarm of villages. No, 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 retreat, retreat, everyone, retreat. <laughs> run away, <laughs> run away. We are not, you are not ready for that. You are clearly not ready for that yet. But look at all this, the great show of force we have here now. And this is amazing. Now, I do wish that there were some, like, group heal type of thing, because I feel like this game would be very good with that. And maybe it is. It seems like something that would be very well suited. Although I find that my character is very much, like, kind of a lone wolf. And then he's just sort of randomly commanding all of these troops. But we're going to keep upgrading our archers, because we are going to turtle these people to death. We're going to turtle in our fort, because that seems to be the only strategy that's really very sustainable here. And then we'll slowly expand out until we are just covering the entire earth. Smooth as in bald. I thought that that just meant that you were more evolved than the rest of us, to be fair. Tactical repositioning. 
Vorm, have you done, um, have you done, uh, what is the, uh, Sons of Valhalla, or Kingdom as well? Actually, Kingdom, hadn't, had you done Kingdom? Or am I just telling myself these things to feel comforted? Vorm has very good taste in games. Can everyone single out Vorm in chat also and remind him that he has excellent taste? Like, chef's kiss? Wait a minute, you didn't do, then who did Kingdom? I felt like it was, I don't know, you pick interesting stuff though. Man, here I go misremembering again. It must be my craziness kicking in. Well, either way, thanks for the raid, man. I do appreciate it. Were you guys you guys were doing CDDA? Uh, technically, I suppose that this is a roguelike, though isn't everything a roguelike in this day and age? Man, look at all of the arrows in our people. All right, so we're comfortable and nice here in the fort. But now we've got up to 20, but we still aren't really making any money. And look, now we've got all this fish again. But now we can't raise any gold because we aren't able to trade the fish for gold. And we're quite bad at it. So let's go ahead and see if we can attack these people. Um, all right, everyone, get out of the castle. Or actually, you know what? You guys follow me. You people stay in there. I have a goodly a goodly number of chums here to join me on this. Except let me go ahead and get more health care before I leave. Restock the equipment. There we are. As you know, we're in a country that offers universal health care. So here we are. There we are. Good. All right. King of the castle, king of the castle. Uh, go and attack them. Attack. Destroy them. Oh, no. <laughs> Our men were slaughtered horribly. Apparently, we can destroy palisades with arrows as well. That, that is very effective for assaulting a base. Okay, but it works for me, you know, since our other archers have been otherwise so brilliant. Oh my gosh, I really regret doing a double attack right there. That really could have killed me. Um, okay, king of, the, king of the castle. I am king of the castle. No one else is. Come here. Look at how good these enemies are, though. Like, the enemy AI is so good, I would really enjoy having that applied to my own men at some of these times. <laughs> ah. Or maybe it's because they're under my command. Okay, I need to eat uh, mutton, and that will make me feel better. Okay, so good. It was actually not quite as hard as I thought it would be to take back the next base. So now these brilliant archers have helped me capture this place, and I have spears sticking out of my chest, and I'm still alive. And almost... Who is it that played Boromir? Was it Sean Bean? Look, guys, I'm basically Sean Bean. Get into the tower! Get into the tower! Okay, retreat, retreat. Please do this right. Good, they did it right this time. Oh, amazing. Wow. Man, they must be striking these barricades with such great velocity as to put fire onto them, because so far I have not seen anyone carrying torches, to be fair. All right, here we go. We can sell all of our copious fish. We are now mired in wealth once again. Ah, that's so nice to sell so many fish. Okay, now, what the heck am I going to do with all of this money? We've already garrisoned the tower. Let's just make sure. So we've got this place pretty much defended. Please don't just stand there and not do anything for the, la for the next people that come along. All right, now that we've told them to do that. It was Sean Bean. Sean Bean. With the Irish spelling that looks like Seen Bean. Cian. <laughs> no, it was Cian Bean. And since our arches have so far been only somewhat moderately effective, we're going to go ahead. I don't really think that the production time is going to. Or maybe we could upgrade the production time. Wouldn't it be like such an amazing cameo if Sean Bean actually came out at the end of the game? And was like, I've actually been doing all of the voice acting in this. Actually? If Sean Bean came out at the end of this game. Or if just every character was Sean Bean in disguise. I think that would be a very effective marketing strategy for um, a game about Vikings. He is basically a modern Viking. Doesn't he? Like, he looks very cool. and I don't know. I mean, I, I could talk about how much I like Sean Bean all day, but... Well, we'd be here all day. Um, let's go ahead and train the arches. I don't want to do flaming arches. It's probably going to be better for assault. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll take the full upgrade there. Ooh, ooh, very important in metal. Or whatever it's made of. Maybe it's very Skyrim, though. Very Skyrim-y. 
Something just makes me feel very comfortable with that Sky the Skyrim feeling. Hoo-ha, they say as they leave their house. Bin Sean? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that his name is such like a... It could really, it could really be very confusing to read his name. But whose name would be Bean? Well, I don't know. I don't want to insult someone who's named Bean. You know. And then they go home feeling bad about themselves. Uh, my whole family, every single person is named Bean. And I just don't know what to do with myself. We can never identify who's trying to speak. Look, he even has the same manly gait and swagger as Sean Bean. As Boromir in Lord of the Rings. Sorry, I'm getting, like, oddly nostalgic for Lord of the Rings at this time of year. Last year, around this time, I went back and I watched all of the making of Lord of the Rings videos. And I basically, like, just, uh... I don't know, I was getting, like, lost in childhood nostalgia. I, I even pulled out GBA games that I had played as a kid. And I... I don't know, I was... I, I just couldn't get a hold of myself. Like, something about... Something about going back in time to the... Th Hang on a second. Everyone here is stupid and fired. Please help me. There's like 50 of you and one of me. Stop just being shot. Oh, you know, actually, to be fair, it could be that we haven't upgraded their range enough yet to be able to compete with the stronger boys from over here in the neighboring tribe. But here we go. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to upgrade your range so that you can be smarter in there. Um, do we have enough fish to make it worth selling yet? No, and I still, you know, I don't really have much confidence in our ability to salt another base yet. So I'm going to go home yet one more time after I spend all of this money with my fish. Or I'm going to sell the fish, and then we'll upgrade our archers, come back, and then we'll attack someone. And then maybe I can de-garrison these guys from this place, because I think we'll have enough time to react. If, uh, if we have to fall all the way back. But look at how many amazing people we have following us now. Yeah, the arrow did seem to have despawned from my head. There was an arrow in my head before, right? We need 550. Okay, yeah, so we're going to start to need to trade wood or whatever it is. This is the reason I can't figure out why they would offer you the blacksmith building so early. It seems to me like it would be, like, you know, like it would be a, a real shot in the foot if you built the, um, the blacksmith buildings and all that other good stuff early on. The other thing is that I am finding that silver is very much a limiting factor. Like, I thought that would be enough gold, but... Okay, here we go. Up the attack speed. Now they're at 125%. Basically, I have the Markwood Elves at my command. Who has... Who still has an arrow sticking out of his head? At least it's not in the knee. At least it's not in the knee. Okay, attack my men who are not... Oh my gosh. Riddle them with arrows? Okay, good. How now? The attacker has now become the attacked. Uh, please come back. Where are you going? Where could you possibly be going? Oh, they wanted to go into this watchtower. I mean, just because it's there, I mean, it is on fire, so... That's really kind of ill-advised, but why do you all walk that way again? Right. Well, you are beautiful and pixelated, so I'll accept your stupidity. Just keep doing what you've, what you've been doing. Alright, I guess I could just run back and forth and take a hit, but I should probably defend them in melee combat if they do get somebody wrapped up among them. Here we go, this is for Sean Bean. King of the castle. Okay, good. So they will shoot the people. And I, as, um... I as Sean Bean slash Vigo Mortensen, though he doesn't really look like Vigo, to be fair. Although I hope that they make more games with characters that look like Vigo, because he was also very cool in Lord of the Rings. Everyone, run away, run away, <laughs> run away. Here we go. Okay, go get some uh, Obamacare at home and then we'll... I mean, I need to drink more mead. This guy would be on the... I would be on the floor if I had had this much mead. Dude. I would have, like, one glass of mead and I would just be done. And forget about going into combat. No way. No way, Jose. 
<laughs> no way, Sean Bean. Um, unfortunately, well, I could drink the mead. There we go. Well, yeah, I had the meat. Sorry, meat and mead sound so similar. Allow me to clarify. I've been eating meat, but the mead replenishes my stamina, but my stamina kind of replenishes pretty fast already. Like, I don't think I have enough time to dodge roll, drink mead, and then dodge roll again. Hang on a second, let me just shotgun this thing of mead. Okay, I'm good now, where's the fight at? <laughs> you know, like, I don't think I would have the coordination and the tolerance to be able to handle all of that at once. I'm just saying. Like, and I'm a very manly man. Keep that in mind. One of the manliest. Who? I I literally I, I um. What have I done? Ever since ever since I moved to my new town, I've uh, I've started like a men's workout group. This is a very good non postmodern thing to be doing. However, um, we meet <laughs> we meet at, at someone's house, and then we all say who ha. Whew, ha, at like five in the morning. And let me tell you, I've never felt so in touch with my ancestors as when I work out on these mornings. Anyway, it's a great time. Everyone, it sounds a little bit sus. It sounds a little bit like, like possibly illegal, but it's not illegal. Trust me, at least I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. Hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to go back to Valhalla anytime soon. Hang on a second. Battering rams will be able to... And we do have, uh, like, siege weaponry. But we clearly don't have battering rams yet, so we're just going to leave that there. Money, 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 money. Okay, everyone come with me, King of the Castle. I will leave the archers in there, because I really don't want to lose this position as well. Um, oh my god, there are so many. I have a throng of men at my command. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Yes, let's squat together as men. Hang on a second. Oh my god, there are so many people here! King of the castle! But it does feel satisfying to take out, like, and behead a whole... A whole bunch of guys. I don't mean to sound morbid or anything like that, but, you know, I mean... It's a violent game. It's a violent game. Oh my gosh, we actually did take off his head. Wow. Oh no, he has, uh, I've been Smackledorfed again. Has everyone run out of arrows at the same time? There we go, good. Phew! I guess I could use my own arrows, to be fair. Though they just seem to get back men at such a breathtaking and alarming rate. I don't even trust my own people. Okay, retreat, retreat again. I don't wish to lose your lives. You do kind of magically regain health as soon as you get back there, and I don't want to have to give birth to all of you again. But yes, the one thing that, as you are probably beginning to see with this game, is that it has a tendency to get a bit repetitive here. Good evening, Ah. Ah, good evening. Hey, Gabagool, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the three months. Do appreciate that, Gabagool. Yes, and I am not part of a band of Mongolian throat singers. Although, like, I don't know, maybe playing the didgeridoo every day at 6 a.m., like in the dark of the night or of dawn would like would be very manly a thing to do i don't know you know i'm just trying to fight against this like this uh social media gen z culture by by uh doing more like vikingy things or does that make me too sound too much sound like very red pill or something like that <laughs> <laughs> I don't even how would that translate but yeah <laughs> it sounds like oddly just a weird thing to do it is it is weird but I like it is that allowed is that allowed I'll continue upgrading these huts so that we get more and more copious amounts of resources here we go let's completely ignore our um, melee men and just totally throw everything into the ve the best defensive offense that anyone has ever seen Okay, we will train everyone's, uh, like, health and armor because they seem to just throw themselves at the enemy. That is also fair. Uh, what else? It is permitted. I'm allowed to like things. Thank you very much. That's very reassuring to know that I am, that you, as, as, as my, 
as my friends will allow me to continue liking things. I don't know where we're going with this. Verbal diarrhea, but yeah. Hmm. King of the castle, king of the castle. Okay, so they're all standing there while some nefarious invader just kind of dekes the entrance. But look at how much silver we got there. Okay, I feel like I can single-handedly and smoothen these boys. No. I was unable to do it. Alright, whatever. Continue gaining experience, men. It will aid us in the war. Oh, there is now once again an arrow sticking out of my head. Keep selling the fish. Let's just sell all of the fish because we have such a copious number of them. Okay, good. This will greatly aid me in the war to come. How do we get more army? So we're going, we're going to need to keep upgrading our mead hall. Although with archers, this may be more difficult. My main thing is that whenever I train melee guys, they just sort of face plant at the enemy because the enemy has like an infinite number of people. And I feel as though, although it might happen faster, there's a greater chance that I would just lose all of my men and we would have to tra like lose that barracks and then retreat back to the main fort, which is why I'm not doing melee fighters. I kind of would like to see more of an incentive in this game for us to have more people in our um, army. You know what I mean? Like, right now, it, it just doesn't really make sense to try to diversify two different types of troops. Just because I feel like we would get the worst of, bro of both worlds. You know? Like, if we just focus on training one group of people, it'll be better. But there is, like, another interesting wrinkle to be had here with the rune system. We so far have not picked up any particularly great runes, although we could specialize to whatever type of troop runes we're getting, I suppose. Hey, let's train one flame boy archer. There we go. At least we'll get something. And it is getting rather expensive to buy some of these upgrades at this point. Although, surprisingly, we can't, like, um... We don't seem to be able to build that other outpost, unless I'm totally missing that. Let's go ahead and just double check those other outposts. I felt like I was missing something there, because I was like, yeah, we've captured the outpost. We can trade at it, we can defend it. But we don't seem to be able to build at it. I'm guessing that we, when we get up to this next triangle boy, we can um, build there. But for right now, this is just a mere outpost. So the next one is going to be very hard to take. I really don't... I don't feel comfortable leaving that behind whenever I'm there, but we're just going to have to do it. Okay, everyone follow me, and let's also de-garrison this watchtower, because now I'm going to just go all in at it. Okay, attack. This is a massive army now. Oh my gosh, wow. But I, I like the prospect of these massive battles playing out right here, where I'm more effectively a commander than a soldier. Uh, increases regeneration points. I don't really have enough time to think about this. Wait a second. Inspect. Add. Okay, that's just a free rune. I'll take it. Destroy them? And I think I'm just going to be a distraction right here in the front, although I really don't want to die. Because it seems very laughably easy for me to die at times. Okay, attack them. Destroy them. I'll get in one good hit, and then I'm going to back up, because look, I just lost half my HP right there. And I don't really see that I would be able to dodge that many. You will have to get past me! Few have gotten past me. Well, m most, almost everybody has managed to get past me. Okay, go in. Come on, there's not that many of them left. Just please keep attacking them. Please attack them instead of just standing there and dying. Okay, yeah, all right. I, I'm a little bit giving up on some of these men. Okay, everyone retreat again. I don't believe in you. I don't believe that you're capable of anything, but I understand your limits, and I don't wish for you to die. So I'm going to be a benevolent leader and just leave you here. Fortunately, this has given us enough time to raise a copious number of fish, which I can then use to make up for their low IQ. There we go. Which, it is rather impressive. And at least they're willing to throw their lives at many problems. Like, it didn't it seem as though we had a lot of Vikings? Although the one thing is that the enemies are all pretty, like, kitted when we go over there. Um, so I do see that as, like, a limiting factor. 
Um, I'm just going to keep... I don't really know. I think I'm just going to keep upgrading my archers because I could switch over to melee, which is probably better for assault, but at this point, my archers are just so well upgraded that I'll, despite the fact that they aren't really smart, I think we're better off with them rather than trying to go after melee fighters. So, I don't know. I feel like you've probably seen much of the gameplay loop here, although I think when we get a second base, we're going to have more ambipog, options because in this ambipog, first one, we ambipog. don't really have that many. Yes, very pog. Thank you very much for the sub, Chief Beef. Would you consider Angus? Or is Angus Beef? Because I did this the other night. We went out to watch the... Uh, the uh, the Chiefs and the Bengals play. And I ordered a... Ba a I was going to say a Bengal burger. I'll have a Bengal burger. I had an Angus burger. Is Angus just a, a type of beef? Like, is, is one a subset of the other... I mean, we are in this area. We're playing a Viking game. Can I just ask this? I have a lot of stupid questions that I need to ask Twitch chat because I'm afraid to ask them in real life for fear that people will think that I'm not, like, aware. So I ask them online to people, um, well, to you. Angus Beef comes from Angus from Ace, Angus Young from ACDC. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. What have we done? But is he able to just continue producing meat? Like, and stay alive? Oh, sorry, Angus, people named Angus. That's even, well, that's probably false. That's probably false. Why would you say that? Why would you lie to me? Seems like a great opportunity for a pun. Wait, Angus, isn't Angus the, that's at least the only person I could think of named Angus off the top of my head. ACDC, right? You know, like Thunderstruck? Hang on a second. All of our men are dying in the front line. This is not good. Uh, that's okay. We're, we're training more of you. Oh, look, you all have brought helmets with you now. That is quite good because you will probably need them. Um, okay, I, I can't really think of a better strategy here than just keep going back and forth. Build more men because the ones in the front are dying and then make them slightly stronger every single time that I get back. Which, to be fair, is a satisfying gameplay loop, although, like I said, I, it does feel a bit one-dimensional at times, and I would like to see how that kind of well develops in time. Okay. Um, oh, I can just tell them to attack from here. My bad. I didn't know that. That's very good because I was thinking I had to set up rally points, but at the same time, it doesn't seem very effective me to send them in uncommanded groups one by one. Oh, you people actually aren't... You never got the uh, the upgrade. You didn't get the NVIDIA upgrade. Performing a double attack will be able to refill your stand. Oh, that is very good because we use that quite a lot. Okay, you people are weaker than the men that I've got now. You guys are like the earlier version of the car. I dare you to come near me. My double attack will recharge my stamina. It said so. Oh, man, I lost a lot of men there, but, you know, at least I didn't die. The truth is that dying yourself in this, which I am about to die, I did not die. Go closer. Go closer, please. Everyone attack. Yeah, I'm really kind of useless in combat here. Okay, I guess we're going to need some melee men. Otherwise, I have to do this job myself. I mean, they do a fantastic job standing there and... Like, holding that ground, I will say that. But I think we've reached their max range. Oh, that man is on fire. He appears to be on fire, anyway. I don't mean like he's having a great day. I mean like he's literally on fire. Um, here we go. Continue. Continue with the repairs. Okay, you're not all doing particularly well, so I will tell you to retreat now. All right, I have decided that you archers don't really... Like, they were very effective at holding the ground and getting near the city. But yeah, we're clearly going to need to have some melee fighters or siege machines from here. Okay, you guys apparently don't want to garrison that tower, but we'll just leave you there. And now it's time to sell more fish. Oh, does upgrading the archery... Ah, interesting. No, you don't actually get a person upgrade, which I was agreeing... I, I feel like you you need to get a little bit more out of some of these upgrades, in my opinion. 
um, because you just produce troops faster. But let's go ahead now back to our barracks, because clearly we were going to have to do this. Um, it is way more expensive to create a shielded swordsman. Maybe we'll make a few of them and then go from there. But let's try to upgrade the whole building, because we're going to start having to poop these guys out fast. Um, let's also get some more equipment. Uh, many times in combat I have nearly died. I am actually surprised that I've not died at all, which speaks to... I must have much more cat-like reflexes than I thought. But here we go. Barracks getting upgraded. We're going to need to do this now. And you know what? Since we have all of this wood, let's go ahead. Let's make some shielded sword boys or whatever. And let's upgrade everything on them because we are now mired in wealth after all. Um, and will they just immediately go to attack or will they garrison the front? My god, look at our wealth and riches. Let's upgrade our production amount too. Okay, we are really cooking with fire here now. This is quite good. We need more for the fishing hut as well. Okay, this is this is very good. I did not actually think that we would be this good this fast. It, I, the thing though is that I feel as though... Maybe it's more one of those games that's, like, just fun to play rather than stream, though, to be fair. Because I always do wonder that about these, like... I'm having a good time, and actually, I really do enjoy it. Like, my mind is entirely engaged here. But I sometimes wonder about it for Twitch. Just because it's kind of, like, back and forth, back and forth. It would be nice to have some sort of teleport button to just go right back to your main base or go back to the front lines. Mm, okay, upgrade your... You know what? Upgrade your hit points. Just make them very beefy to start with. Um, actually, I don't think that gets applied to the first guys. So just throw yourselves at them. Throw yourselves at them. Maybe you'll come back from the war. Come back with your shielder on it. I love you. All right. Now that they're gone, they probably won't survive. Um, uh, let's see. King of the castle, king of the castle. We will raise their armor. We will raise their armor. They're going to need it. Yes, they are. I, I promise the archers will actually follow you into battle. But to be fair, you know, one thing that we don't... So much is kind of focused on gameplay. But there is, like... I don't know. Games are really, like, an art form. And, like, look at how beautiful this is. I used to follow all of these Twitter artists uh, who are into pixel art and just, like, the most breathtaking stuff they create. This game is some of the best animation I've ever seen in a pixel art game. Like, I think hands down, that is quite clear. Okay, let's see how you all do when I throw your lives at this. Hang on a second. Where are the other men? Why have you stayed at home? There we are. Good. They're just standing there. And accepting their deaths. Oh, good. Let's see how they do with, like, sort of a shield wall. Now, this is just me telling them to blindly attack. Keep in mind. You all have the same haircut. You're all just the same person. Okay, I can be a little bit better in combat when my melee fighters are in there now, it appears. Fire pots will be restocked faster. I'll take that, although we don't have any fire pots yet. Melee attacks will do double damage. But you will lose a certain amount of your max... I can't afford to lose 55% of my maximum health. No, absolutely not. Okay, good. Good, slay them. Although 100% more damage does sound pretty great. Maybe when I have more HP, I would be willing to pick that up. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to run away. Well, actually, maybe I, I'll wait for running away for another moment. Um... There we go. No, don't hit the man who's trying to kill you. Just hit the wall in front of you. I don't value your lives. Here we go. Oh, or maybe these flaming archers would do better. Anyway, it's odd to me that flaming archers seem to do so much damage to the people. Uh, run away again. And yet they don't seem to be able to do very much to the defenses. You would think it would be the other way around. C retreat! Come on, man. You... You have an arrow sticking out of your head. It's just not, it's just not like real people to do that. Okay, I don't want to sell all of the fish, but I'm going to sell quite a lot of them here. And we have maxed out on wood. Okay, good. We're doing fine in the resource game now. Yeah, my only thing is it's sort of like, maybe it's just something with one dimensional games like this. Although I didn't really feel like that with Noida. Um, it's sort of back and forth, back and forth in that. Maybe if there were like some sort of jumping mechanism. 
you know, like maybe press a button to jump. I've never seen that mechanic actually implemented in a game before. It's amazing. Here we go. Actually, I don't know. Maybe jumping... Maybe it's because there's just so much agility in combat. Why I feel like it would be nice to be able to do like a... Like a Super Mario jump in the middle of combat. I don't know. I sound like an old person when I say that. You should do a Super Mario jump. Block chance. 30 to 35. Uh, this is on our troops. Oh, this is just armor, block, and so on and so forth. Okay, I will send out a few more of you to your deaths. We should probably upgrade some of our resource collection buildings after that. Actually, let me undo some of those things I did. Uh, no, not not that. Now we will use it to upgrade the uh, the huts. Yeah, right, let's go back to our fisheries. Um, hmm, fishing hut storage would be kind of nice. Weenie Hut Junior. There we go. Now we've made it into Weenie Hut Seniors. Essentially. Yeah, kind of like a linear RTS. But here we go. Feast your eyes on more of the incredible graphics of this game. I really do like this pixel rain. This is very beautiful. I was really into this when I got back into game dev a while back, and then I decided to leave for the life of a YouTuber. Um, I was just admiring games that had good pixel graphics rain, and Zomboid is one of them. But this game also has incredible pixel rain. Is this also a feature of Kingdom? My god, look at the moon! Look at all of the layers of opacity on these pixels. They're just so beautiful. It's like, it's just so striking and amazing. I think archers and shield boys. That's what we need. But now in comparison to all these upgrades, the men are seeming fairly cheap, which is a good sign. This is getting very expensive to slightly improve them, though. All right, everyone come with me. King of the, I am the king. I am more important than all of you. I have lived many lives. <laughs> hundreds. Hundred, I'm a great leader. Hundreds of men have died under my command. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Here I go off on another one of my campaigns with my loyal stalwart companions. Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, you know, speaking of pixelated games, maybe we should check out... Somebody brought up Rain World. Uh, didn't they have a sequel? Di Dave the Diver, or Diver Dave. Maybe we should go on, like, a pixel pixelated game kick. That would be kind of nice, right? The moon looked good. Look, the sun also looks good. Can everyone compliment the sun so that the sun doesn't think just the sun looks good? Like, we have to make them... The sun and the moon are equal, everyone. They need equal treatment. Okay, king of the castle, king of the castle die? Have they repaired their own tower? That would be immensely dissatisfying if that was their decision. Oh my god. I would really like to get into the combat, but that would mean risking my own life. And also, it's so laughably easy to die. I'm just more valuable as a commander. Maybe if I tell you men to follow me, you will follow me slightly closer into shooting range. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Man, e Dude, stop dodging. Okay, a few of them are shooting. No, they are all just kind of going on their cooldowns. There we go. Okay, one good double attack usually takes them down. Although right now they do not appear to be too particularly effective at this. Hang on a moment. I want to give it a chance. I want to give it a chance. Okay, good. They have set it ablaze again. And it is missing that, like health bar that it had before as well. He has lost his head. Alright, but now I, I am actually dying, so follow me and retreat. Run away. Run away. Well, most of you run away. Those of you who can hear me. Repair that, because I'm a, I, f I really do fear what might happen if they don't have that to run away to. Okay, don't run into the tower then. Live your life. There we are. Good. Okay, now we have all of the money. Another ten men have died under my command. 
Yes, thank you for praising the sun. We need to get in touch with more Viking things. We need to squat down and make manly sounds. Okay, let's, uh, since the, well, the archer strategy, I will say this, to be fair, the archer strategy worked out quite well because it, we have so far not lost that command post. It would be very easy to keep losing the command post, except for the one time that we did lose the command post, which I now stand corrected. We did lose the command post, but that was the only time that we lost the command post, and then after that it was nothing but sunshine and rainbows with the, uh, with the command post. Let's go ahead and just train our military like crazy. We'll do a little bit more upgrading on our resource collection. Here we go, maximum level. I think we have one more. Nope, we do have maximum level there. Good, good. Okay, and then let's upgrade our production of fish, because as you know, fish can be equated to human lives or money, whichever one you really will it as. Um, oh my gosh, wow, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> uh, how's that for some good live stream role play? I'm pretty sure we don't need to upgrade these archers anymore, though. They're about as good as can be. We'll upgrade the block to 45%. That sounds pretty good. And then we'll eventually have more people when we are able to extract more fish from the sea. I, I don't want to make you think that I've succumbed to verbal diarrhea here. Um, that sounds like a very bad way to start it. But that being said, you, it is kind of like you, you run out of breath playing this game. You do need to be engaged with it, otherwise your defenses will fall and everything will crumble. I hope that you can appreciate that, just seeing me play this, is that there hasn't been a dull moment since we started. And we've been here for about an hour, which is why I say, like, it's kind of flown by. And although I've said a couple of critical things, too, um, what was I going to say? I do like the loop, and I kind of stand by what I said at the beginning. Like, I feel as though this game is very nice for one experience, although I'm curious to see in the in the main game beyond the demo, like, how much more content there is, how much more replayability there is. Um, because I really think that this game is, it's beautiful, and I just enjoy the experience. Um, I'm not even playing this in full screen, but I, I do feel great immersion. Um, like, wow, how kind of unsexy of me to like analyze what i'm enjoying the game but as one of the most influential game reviewers on the planet um you know i i feel like that this burden falls to me to describe well the the veracity of my own experience shall we say if that doesn't sound too posh of me to say that i don't even know what words are coming out of my mouth anymore there's just sounds coming out of it. Should I? No, you know, it, it's really, it's becoming fish. That's the limiting factor a little bit. I will train another army <laughs> to die. And then we will send them in. Follow me. Okay, maybe we'll try another command here. Let's try shield wall. Shield wall. What does that do? See, so just stay there. My thing is that if I keep them... Oh, actually, I do have an idea now. Follow, Follow me. me. Follow me. We have 19 out of 20. You all have shields. So I will have you be a shield wall in front of the archer men. And then the archer men will shoot into the enemy. You bought Rimworld because of me and you did terrible things. Me. All you needed to say was that... Wait, ooh, range fighters have more health. This is quite good. Range fighters will ha have more accuracy. Don't really need that. We'll be able to... Arrows will do more damage. That's quite good. Um, I don't really feel like the stamina is as good as the health because they just sort of stand there to begin with. Okay, this is quite good. We'll leave that one there. We might be able to bring back... Well, we should bring back some of those runes since they seem to be persistent. Okay, I will throw my life at them. Shield wall! Shield wall, stand in front of the feeble, weak archermen. And they do appear to fight them as well. And then this actually gives me an opportunity. Ooh, very nice. King of the castle, king of the castle. Follow me. Stand here. Shield wall. Okay, yes. Now the tactics are coming into play. Although that being said, it... it I wonder if there are, like, multiple ways that we could fight these things out. Like, in a really mountain blade type of way. Kind of like indie, pixelated Star Wars Battlefront slash mountain blade. I think that's a very cool formula. Although I am starting to have more fun now, I think it took me a little while to get through that gameplay loop. I, I will say that. But this is clearly more interesting stuff is going on now. 
positive beans. Thank you very much for the sub. We appreciate that. Although the archers don't really seem to be... Oh, no, they are. They are shooting. But not very well. <laughs> if only we could take this thing down. Although I... Moonlight gives you strength and your stamina increases. Um... Oh, we could... That could lead us to, like, nighttime attacks or something like that. That would be interesting. Again, I kind of like my runes that I've currently got. Oh my gosh, we just destroyed someone's house. We'll probably have to pay for that. Um, let me just shoot some of these arrows, just to look cool, mainly. All right, let me eat more mutton. Here we go, I'm running low on health. And I'm also almost out of men. See ya! <laughs> what a great leader I am! What a great, great leader I am! Alright, we now have no one. Um... All right, sell half of the fish because I'm going to need to equate the human life to fish and then use that. Oh, no, they are actually here right now. We may need to reclaim everything, in which case we will just amass a huge throng of melee fighters. <laughs> but it, I, I will say that uh, there is this. You do get the great satisfaction of coming back every single time with a stronger and stronger group of men to all lead to their deaths. So, like, that is kind of satisfying there. That's a good That's a good time. Hey, I got a proposition for you. You want to join my team? Um, let me get rid of one of those. Oh no, they're here. Uh, all right, let's up the rate of fish acquisition and storage. There we go. There we go. All right, is anyone still alive? Yeah, basically you are the enemy horde in a tower defense game. There is that. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to... Oh, it's really hard to say what we should do here, because they've just taken back over the last town. I mean, with good reason. With good reason. Let's go ahead and just train a bunch of archers, because it should be easy to defend against their attack. Because they're just like, uh... Follow me. Hang on a second. Retreat, retreat, get into the thing. Uh, the gate is unlocked. Get into the gate. Get into the gate. There we go. Good. Okay, we've defended ourselves. The archers are arching again. And now we're going to go ahead. Let's just get more defensive archers. There we go. You know, like, as we keep, like, breaking out of our shell, it becomes easier and easier to defend ourselves. Although now I can't do the fish thing. But we need to kind of, like, coil back up. And then we can come back out and attack the enemy again. Look at that little, like, particle effect on the light with the pixel art. That's pretty neat. Hey, Zeknos, thank you very much. Thank you for the kind words. Okay, get a couple more amazingly smart archers. There we go. I can't really tell if the enemy scales in terms of threat either here. Like, it's hard to say, because clearly they're coming after my base, and if we just kind of let up and didn't do anything, yeah, they would take it. But it doesn't seem like they're getting that much stronger. I was wondering if they would be producing fewer people because we destroyed that one building before we even destroyed the defense tower, oddly enough. Um, but yeah, here we find ourselves again. So how much wood do we have? It costs 100 wood to get a shield boy. Although the shield boys are very good. I'm actually... I'm trying to think. Have I seen a single woman in the game since it started? No, I believe they just reproduce kind of like plants, you know? Like asexual reproduction. Maybe they just go hoo-ha, and then another Viking comes out. <clears throat> it's possible, I'm just saying. It's a, It could be in the deep lore of this game. There we go. Okay, king of the castle, king of the castle. Everyone get the hell out. Um... Lock it up. There we go. Okay, everyone follow me. Now I've got 17 men again under my command, unfortunately for them. And I, I think that this should be enough archers now. We'll train a couple of regular sword boys, just because why not? All right, this gives me time to secure more valuable resources. And I think we'll do two more pushes. One to get back to town. And then one where we'll do one more upgrade and we'll finally, hopefully, take that next town. Attack! Attack my people! 
Uh, don't even try the shield wall. Just fight. Here we go. Man, I really lose health fast. Do you think it would be very inspiring if, like, army generals just... Oh, and I am dead. That is unfortunate. This is actually a very good time to die, though. So very sad, very sad. I am dead. Don't all cry at once. However, that being said, we at least get to see part of the fascinating world of respawning in this game. And this is actually one of my favorite pixel cutscenes because it's just so, like, striking. Okay, so now we meet the real king of the castle. again, Thord Olafsson. I'll give you one more charm. Smart. You'll have... So, yeah, basically we need to give him a rune. He has a lot of reverb in his voice, doesn't he? Um, eh, arrows will be able to... Fortunately, some of these things are basically useless to us, though. Um, let's go ahead and... We'll lower our fire pot replenishment. This is something that we didn't do because yeah, I didn't have space for it in my main base. It's like a barracks upgrade that would make assaults faster and easier. But I really didn't want to do it in the first base that we got. My god, it's so beautiful up here now. Look at the rainbow pixel. How does someone make this art? I'm sorry, this is just so incredible. I would love to see this guy's Photoshop set up. Or I don't know who it is that made this, if it's a team of artists. But there's so much incredible art in this game, that being said. Also, OMG forever. Thank you very much for the for the uh, sub. Plants can plants can re reproduce sexually. That is fair. That is fair. But can't they also reproduce asexually if there is no other plant available? Wait, am I just totally wrong on that? Otherwise, I'm going to have my mind blown. Wait, I need to remember my plant facts. I have a worksheet on this. Hang on a second. I'm going to need to go back and consider the plant reproduction worksheet. Oh it varies is the simple answer. Okay, yes, yeah, so fair. I mean, it is nature. There are many exceptions. <clears throat> okay, now we have 20 out of 20 again. I just... It wasn't really that we were overwhelmed in that combat. I just sort of performed poorly. But look, our men did fine. And actually, our men have been here alive and on Earth. And this is one of those rare circumstances in which I died and my men survived. So... Performing a light attack will do more damage. Oh, that's very good, because light attacks are basically useless. Good. Just accept the arrows with dignity. There we go. We don't want to destroy all of this. Please stop destroying the tower that will eventually be ours. There are a couple things like that that I don't understand that they do. Okay, so now I have to repair this for you. Oh, enemy nearby. Where is the enemy? No, there's no enemy nearby. Oh, maybe it was a second ago. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, fine. Um, okay, king of the castle. Um, now, I wonder if I could selectively tell some of them to get into the tower. Now, when I give them the retreat order, they just sort of stand there. Okay. All right, we'll stay there for a moment. We will trade a few more fish. I'm just trying to think of how to do this. I don't really want to lower the resource acquisition because it really doesn't seem like we had such a copious number of resources since we began. I do find that there are a lot of bottlenecks here, though. You know what I mean? And I, I do find the game loop satisfying. I just wish that I, I it happened at a little bit more of a frequent interval. Um, okay, archery range. I don't really need to upgrade you guys, but I think the melee fighters could use a little bit more. 120 to 125 isn't going to be that much. Let's do a little bit of everything here okay a little bit of everything this isn't gonna affect us too much we could get more like fire bombs and stuff like that fire bombs Sorry, sometimes when i get nasal like suddenly a new york long island accent just overtakes me it's kind of like a jimmy neutron brain blast or something like that like oh four i'll have four coffees like i don't know where it comes from it's like something very deep in my DNA. I still didn't... Un oh, thank you very much. I did not I did not see that fallen angel. Yes, I need to unlock the tower, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh, you know, I stand corrected. We are generating some resources from this thing. Thank you. Yeah, so we need to unlock that tower. Good. Okay, tower boys in the tower. All right, I do want to leave some of you guys back there, but the rest of you follow me. There we go. And good. Lots of money. Lots of money. Because everyone carries all of their money in cash, in bullion on them in this game. Um, here we go. Attack. Unfortunately, they have... What's your guys' problem? Why are you just standing back there? Okay. 
Here we go. Uh, okay, good. We have taken them down. Your units, units will be able to... Or do we have enough space for this? No, we don't, and I don't really find it that much better. It's not really an issue of dodge here. It's more an issue of just don't get hit. Can we take out the guards so that they don't shoot us? Okay, good. We, we took out that one guy. That dude just fell. Uh, it's always funny to watch people fall. It's like objectively just a funny thing. But look, they've already rebuilt their entire defense. It's like... On the one hand, while it would be nice to say... Well, let me see if I can get a couple more, like, double attacks. I really don't want to die, because I feel like that's just kind of a buzzkill when I die in a game. But I figure that my archers will do most of the dirty work here. Yeah, like, I, I a little bit feel like I'm just kind of banging my head against a wall in this. Okay, let's have everybody retreat again. Because you are able to, like, recover HP pretty well. Or so it seems to me. Good. So they do retreat to the last checkpoint, so that is fairly intelligent. Um, good, we have enough in the farm here. And we have to replenish only seven more men. I'll head back. I'll upgrade you one more time. And then we'll see where we get from there. Again, once we have the next place, I think that the game loop is going to start accelerating like crazy. But for right now, we're just kind of stuck where we're at. Hmm. I will upgrade the fishing, actually. That seems good. I want to get more fish at a faster rate, more lumber. Let's just get all the resource acquisition up. And what the heck, we'll raise the uh, storage as well. Okay, good. Now we are actually out of fish, but it's okay. I can afford to just kind of sit here. Um, do we get a mount? Yeah, that would actually be kind of nice if we had a horse or something that we could upgrade into. Again, I feel like I don't want to make too many judgments because it is the demo. And I'm like, oh, that would actually be such a clever thing. Like, what if there actually is a horse in the game? And that would make it so much easier to get around. Um, but yeah, right now I seem to just be thorled. <laughs> Why does the guy saying retreat sound like Patrick Starr? <laughs> Leedly. <laughs> Is he just gonna pull out a leedle, leedle, leedle? Oh my gosh. It's not my wallet. <laughs> I think it would be funny if, if whenever you ran out of money in the game, if he said, It's not my wallet. Uh, yeah, sorry, I do that thing with my friends all the time. <laughs> like, it's just the meme as thing. I have very meme friends. And they will just, like, uh, go into. <laughs> Go into SpongeBob quotes just kind of seemingly out of the blue, and it, it, it does make me, it does make me chuckle. Uh, okay, the meat, eh, you know, we haven't used the gold on anything. Let's raise our meat thing, because we always seem to bring out, we always seem to bring out meat in the middle of the fight, so we might as well. 11 out of 20, so they are sustaining their own numbers. Fair, fair and good. 253, so this gives me enough for five more of them. Um, or we can make six more, uh, probably seven or eight more now. No, we'll just do six of these. Very good, very good. Uh, it kind of begs the question, if we're close enough that these guys can keep bringing us resources from this Viking ship, who lives so close to us that is this generous with resources, you know? I always wonder that in games like this, which just have some mysterious explanation, because that is quite a lot of art to have. They could have just had the resources magically appear from the resource hall. However, that was a conscious development decision to say, let's have people row up in a boat to deliver the resources every time that you get them. Oh, you know what I also just realized is that the shield people uh, take up two man count. I didn't notice that. So we could have had twice as many lives to throw out this problem. I feel like such a dingus because we could have had more men dying for us. And that has, after all, you know, has seemingly been the goal of this whole stream. Is to just throw away the lives of as many Vikings as possible. I mean, there's... In a second. They can't they clearly can't be happy with what we've been doing to them though. Like just give up your outpost. Like there's clearly we have unlimited men. I can make men out of wood and fish. I mean you appear to be very strong yourselves, but at the same time just everyone atta everyone attacks. You don't get to stay behind. Help us. 
I feel like if I just got in one good swing at the beginning, like, the enemy would be done for. But at the same time, it would be very easily for me, myself, to get creamed if that were to happen. Oh, good! I still have one piece of meat to use in my journeys against the enemy. Right, second. Let me take these men out of the tower because I don't like it when... I don't like it when they have the high ground. There we go. Double attack not really working. I think my light attacks are doing more damage, though, so I'm just going to button mash here. Better organization increases... Uh, oh, I'll take that. That's good. Free storage? Free storage? It's like Tupperware, but in the middle of combat. I know I'm getting so domestic with these references. Okay, there we go. We can shoot over the wall, but that was horribly inaccurate, so please ignore that. I, I meant to do that. Oh, thank God that these shield men sort of do a good job defending me and my and my physical body here. There we go. Amazing. Okay, now I'm just giving in to sheer button mashing. Please, archers, help us. Please, please. Okay, I've had it with this. If this doesn't work, I'm going back and I'm getting like 40 men with just swords. Wait a second. Light attack refills the stamina. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm so close to death, but we were so close to, you know, winning as well. I feel bad giving it up here, but... Okay, I'm gonna go for it and probably die. Is there a man right there? Nope, okay, everyone's dead. Alright, go home. Go home one more time. As you can see... To be fair, this is like a demo version. But I also feel like we've just kind of been back and forth a lot doing many of the same things. But look at it, my copious number of resources. Okay, they are growing, they are growing. King of the castle, king of the castle. I wonder what resides at the skull. It could be Skeletor there. Go back to the barracks. Okay, we're going to do only swordsmen. Just totally abandon our original strategy. Hoo-ha. Okay, here we go. Do that, and then make them slightly stronger. Maybe I should have done that before, because then maybe the other ones won't get the upgrades. Either way, I'm throwing a lot of people's lives at the problem. Okay, you have only swords, and you are meant for one thing. Battle? Battle men? These are my battle men. There we are. Good. I barely survived. I've done a very good job not dying, except for the one time that I've died. You can all congratulate me on that. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes, I have to restock my meat. Thank you. Are we the bad guys? We're probably the bad guys in this game. I'm not going to lie. Like Everything looked pretty organized on the content uh, uh, continent when we got here. Like It looked like they had everything. Is I know that they like took my wife or something like that. But it looks as though we're doing more damage to civilization, even if it's for the sake of, like, manly revenge, you know? Which, I mean, is something... Like, I suppose that's something worth getting behind, you know? Especially in a Viking universe. But at the same time, at the same time, it looked like they had it pretty good. Like, why did people go so hard on the Empire in Star Wars? Like, this, the Empire had a very civilized, stable civilization going there in Star Wars. And then the Rebellion had to go and ruin it all. You know what I mean? There we go. It's never... Hang on a second. I need to have a hungry man dinner. Okay, here we go. We're finally getting through their barracks. Or whatever this is. Their watchtower. This thing had way too much HP. There we go. Okay, I've beheaded them all with a single double attack. Your character is very strong in this game. However... Raise their lands. Kill them. Take them all, uh, everything they have. Range weapons will be restocked faster. I don't really get what that means. We that we got another rune socket. Let's see if we have space for it. Okay, it's basically a free rune. My god. Okay, so now can we have it? Oh, it's ours. Wow, okay, that's going to make our lives a lot e easier and better. Okay, so let's see how the progression kind of works more or less here. Come back, come back, 
come, please come back. Alright, let's see the amazing voice acting. There is good voice acting in this. Go to the sign with the anchor icon and use fast travel. It's located near the mead hall. Oh my gosh, it's almost as if we had just requested that feature. Huh. I had spoken too soon. Well, then, um, use ships to try go to the sign with the anchor icon. Where is the sign? Oh, so we go over... Oh, that was the point of the anchor icon at the original base. That makes sense. Ah. I should be a game designer. I have such amazing ideas after all. All right, um, I am horribly worried about our new base, though, falling prey to the slings and arrows of an enemy that is continuously attacking us and getting closer. We might as well just play out the full thing because we are so far along now. Um, 